Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode number 21. My name is Jonathan, aka Iron Snow here, and hey guys, we got a cool few things to talk about today, so let's get to it. And I am actually really excited because not only that we finished The Undertaker that you guys saw last uh, episode, but we actually finished our King of the Ring, and as you guys can see, Yes, we made it to the finals, and we actually won pretty relatively easy. Um, we were 40, 48 and 3, reason being, um, I was actually number 1 the whole entire brackets. And I only lost because I just didn't feel like energizing, so I could actually have been 51 and 0. And nonetheless, it's pretty good. We actually had about 10 humans in this Survivor King of the Ring, which is pretty cool. Also, a lot of people were talking, but they were speaking a lot of in Spanish and Italian. Obviously, it's something that I, I'm not too familiar with, <laughs> with the languages. So, before we claim that prize, uh, some of you guys actually, on my last episode, you guys were like, Hey, Jonathan, guess what? You didn't, um, <laughs> you didn't put the last token in your diva, in Alicia Fox. So, I want to thank you guys for that, for commenting on yesterday's video. So, for my last, uh, for the last token I put on speed, so she's tough in speed and charisma. So those are Alicia Fox's final stats, which is pretty cool. She's been winning me lots and lots of games. So, and today we are actually look. Actually, uh, we're gonna finish our Undertaker. I didn't put the tokens yet because I want to explain further why I put the tokens on what stats. So. Before we continue the Undertaker's final stats, we are going to look at my Survivor cards and see exactly what singles we have left and what are we looking for in the new King of the Ring rewards. So we have Brock Lesnar, The Rock, Stone Cold, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Bret the Hitman Hart, or Bret Hitman Hart, King Barrett, Devon Dudley, Naomi would be fantastic. That would be such a great... Uh, card to get Cesaro, Sheamus, and Kane. So we have quite a quite a few singles here. I would definitely love to have either The Rock or Brock. Even Stone Cold Steve Austin would be really good because he will match uh, Roman Reigns. Because since Roman Reigns is the up arrow, he's a down arrow. Great compatible tag team. And yeah, so and I and having Naomi would be amazing because she can actually tag with my Nikki Bella, uh, Nikki Bella event card. So, nonetheless, let's just stop the yapping. Let's go to our King of the Ring. And let's claim our rewards. And, come on. Please, we need, we need a pro. We need a pro really badly. Uh, we are in a big, huge deficit of not having any pros. And since now today is Sunday, uh, a lot of people are going to have Undertaker today, so this will probably be the last King of the Ring that I'll have a big advantage on. So I need to get this pro. So let's go. Let's get one of the singles that we have. Let's claim rewards now. And we are going to get... Nikki Bella! <laughs> Nikki Bella, oh my goodness. That's actually really good, but it's not a pro. Oh, man. But she is actually a really, really amazing card. She's either... She's in the top two of the best divas in the game of Survivor tier at the moment right now. It's either her or Charlotte, which is not bad. I am actually not too upset with that, but nonetheless, it's another diva, which gives us another possibility later on down the road to so she can become a pro. So that isn't too bad. I don't, plus, I don't like this picture, by the way. I have a better picture for her for that one. And our legendary is... Really? How many times, how many times am I going to get this guy? Seriously. I think he's a pro. And you know what? And if I have him as a single, we're going to silver star him right now. <laughs> we are going to silver star him. Let's check our legendary cards and combinables. Let's see. No, okay. He's very lucky. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, actually, uh, while I was grinding, I actually pulled a few cards off the board. And I pulled, let me see, where are you? I pulled Randy Orton from the board. Uh, I think Roman Reigns, I pulled him a long time ago. 
and I actually also pulled a legendary table uh, while I was grinding uh, during the King of the Ring. So that's pretty cool. I have two of those, and I actually pulled for epics. I pulled, let's see, let's see. I pulled the Edge and I pulled the Shawn Michaels. So my my Survivor pity pool should be coming up rel relatively soon, very soon. And actually, we go to exhibition. You actually you actually can see right now I'm in Survivor Plus Plus, which is really cool because it actually uh, increases the chances of getting your pity pool a lot uh, a lot more. So let's go to my cards and let's go ahead and go to Undertaker and let's improve him. So. Right now, as Undertaker stands, he's 2867 in power, 3199 in toughness, speed 2839, charisma 2816. Okay, so, and abil ability, we're not going to do anything about that. So, he gets 19, he gets 19 there, 18, and 18. Okay, so like I stated before, I'm going to max out Undertaker's total toughness because I just feel that we aren't going to see another toughness. Uh, superstar anytime soon and and that's 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 just my opinion and I think Undertaker will always be the toughest card out there so we're just gonna go ahead and max him out in toughness and that's what we're gonna do for that and then we have two more tokens so let's confirm those so he's at 3256 so that's pretty ridiculous so for two more tokens for mm, I've been noticing I've been winning a lot more um, speed matches with Undertaker because a lot of people haven't sp uh, sput up uh, Roman Reigns like that. So he can be a really good speedster just because of everybody's picking power and toughness and charisma. So if I put him in speed, he's going to be... Let me, let me pull out my uh, cell phone's calculator because I am absolutely absolutely terrible in math at the top of my head so if we go 39 plus the 18 he's going to be at 57 so he's gonna be at 2857 and if we do charisma I don't know if I really want to do charisma mm, he gets what plus 18 there he's gonna be at 34 hmm because I know a lot of a lot of people's Roman Reigns. Actually, you know what? Being very smart, what we should do is we should go ahead and look at our Roman Reigns. I think our Roman Reigns speed is at 2800. At the moment, Undertaker beats a lot of other team, other Roman Reigns. So let's go to my team and let's view our team deck because I want to compare a lot of the Roman Reigns that we have. So this is Yellow's Reigns. So he's at 839. I, I think that's where, where our Undertaker's at. Let's just double check. Uh, 839. And 8. Yeah, so they're practically even. So if I go ahead and speed him up, see, 839. So yeah, I think I'm going to speed up Undertaker by one more stat point. Because mostly a lot of people didn't increase Roman Reigns too, uh, too much on speed. So that can be uh very helpful yeah you see not not none of them has hit 2900 very rare you will see that 2900s for roman reigns and speed yeah see everybody is like it's right there it's almost there yeah you see he's at 2800 okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one more speed stat on undertaker we're going to do that so he can so we're gonna put 18. Let's confirm that one. Bam. At 2857. Should I put one more? Hmm. If I 57, you put another 18 on that. He's gonna be at 75. Should I forget about the charisma? Very hard. It's a very hard choice. Where's my Roman Reigns? Is I think my Roman Reigns is yeah. My Roman is way too high in charisma. For Undertaker to even 28, he's at 30,000. What happens if I put in power? What happens there? He's at 19. So 19, add, add that, and he's going to be at 86. So it'll be at 28.86. Hmm. Very interesting. You know what? We're just going to do that. We're going to put Taker at toughness and speed. 
that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have a, a toughness speed taker. That's what we're gonna leave it as. Yep, we're just gonna do that. So that's our Undertaker's final stats: thirty-two fifty-six in toughness and twenty-eight seventy-five in speed. And everything else is just gonna stay the same. So that's our Taker, and that's our Alicia Fox. So we could go ahead and play. I'll play like one or two more games just to for the reset, see what happens. So guys, how is it that where are you guys right now on your road to glory? Hopefully you guys are finishing because the event ends today. And I hope you guys get to take a pro. And actually, right after this game, you know what? Since we actually finished proing our taker, and this is actually a really good time to start an event. After this game, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, start another King of the Ring. And that was pretty terrible that we just lost that one. Yeah, we'll win this one here. Without a shot of a doubt. Oh yeah, and if you guys were wondering, that taker picture, that's actually the WrestleMania uh, picture from Season 1. I didn't bring it over, that was uh, just a random uh, reward that I got from uh, the Fusion Chamber. So if you guys were curious on that. Let's play, let's play, let's, let's play into Reset, and then we'll go ahead and then we'll go to... Uh, We'll go to another King of the Ring. So I'm just really hoping that I don't get into a King of the Ring with anybody else that has any pro takers. Because having him as a pro right now will give us a huge advantage for at least one more King of the Ring. Until we hear the next event. Which which should be, the next event should be a, a, a PCC. A People's Championship Challenge. And what is my thought in People's Challenge? Since TLC, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs pay-per-view is tonight, I don't think they're going to do anything with the Tables, Ladders, and Chairs for this uh, this Team PCC. I think they're just going to put a, another ri a rivalry. And my prediction for that, I would think it would have to be something with Owens. Something with Owens and his title. Uh, that, that's that's my thing. I I, I really want a uh, Kevin Owens card. He's such a really cool wrestler, and unfortunately he didn't win the last event. And I'm really hoping that this time, if he does have another event, it'll be him. Or maybe even a maybe a Finn a Finn Balor event. Maybe have some NXT uh, people as the next event cards because we did have Zam, uh, Sami Zayn for season one, which was pretty cool. So I, I definitely can anticipate them having uh, some type of uh, NXT uh, superstar, which would, which would, I would think they will probably win it, to be honest. So we will know that uh, around sometime around Tuesday evening. We should hear something about Team PC, uh, about the next People's Championship Challenge. And also... Guys, if you didn't know as well, I actually started a new video or a new game. And it's a uh, Dragon Ball Z Dok Dokkan Battle. And actually, I'm really, really happy about playing it. I, I didn't know that that game even existed. And apparently, it has been out for, I think, about, what, five to six months in Japan. And then it came over to uh, the U.S. And I was like, are you serious? And I, I was playing it the other time, the other day, and... It's really fun. It's it's very competitive. There's so many so many different characters in that game, and I, I'm a big I'm a really huge you know DBZ fan, and me be able to try to get any of those cards is really cool. So I'm definitely gonna if you guys see me upload a few videos on that, definitely check it out because it's a really fun game. I think I'm definitely gonna get into it more, and there's actually a, a big community. I think that game has over. I think it was what 300 million downloads or something like that. So that's that's pretty good <laughs> for an app game. So definitely, if you if you want if if you want to see something else other than Supercard, definitely take a look at the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. It's it's pretty fun, especially if you're a DBZ fan. I think that's a game you should definitely start looking into. There is uh, so many different events that they have, which is insane. That I, they have an event every single week, 
and they have different uh d different episodes because you know Dragon Ball Z has been out for many years, so they have different storylines and stuff. It's it's insane. So it's but the only the only thing the only downside I see it's uh it's a really big uh grind of a game. That game definitely requires a lot of time of grinding, and they also limit you on how much you can play it by uh having a lot of different types of energy. Like you have an energy bar. And after X amount of games you played, you can't uh, play no more. You have to wait until it, it loads up again. So that's kind of like a little bit downer side on it. But other than that, it's it's a really fun game. So definitely check that out or view the videos of my first episode. I'm definitely going to uh, combine that with WWE Supercard. For those who love Supercard, don't fear. It, Supercard will continue always being my main game regardless. Because I really, really enjoy playing this game so much. I, th I think it's such a great... A great game. I, I I love the community. I love for how everybody this competition and stuff together. So it's it's really fun. So we win that game. See Alicia Fox, so good. It's so good to have a Survivor Pro in your team, in your lineup. But uh, I'm I'm struggling so much with uh, not having another uh, Survivor Pro. But nonetheless, if we could get either if we could get Nikki Bella on the squad, that would be amazing. So let's see. Can we hit the reset here? The game is actually kind of lagging a bit, so what I'm going to do is go back to the home screen. When you do that, cuz I'm playing on blue stacks right now, when you go back to the home screen, you actually refresh the the game so it won't lag too much. It resets the memory. So let's see. I've been seeing, like I said, uh, a lot of people have, for their Undertakers, they haven't, uh, they put a lot of it in power and toughness. I don't agree with that because a lot of people put Roman Reigns as their power card. So you're just wasting tokens. To me, you're wasting tokens on uh, Undertaker, on his power. See, right now, he put, he put his toughness up. He also put his charisma up, too. Which I don't mind because if you didn't touch charisma with uh with Roman Reigns, then that's that's actually not a bad thing to do. Because with me, with my Roman Reigns, I put him in I think I put him in power. Well I three statted him. I put in power, toughness, and charisma. I put more of the tokens on charisma just because, like I said, it'll give you an advantage over other people's cards. So we hit the reset. Unfortunately we didn't get no uh, no survivor pool there. So right now, currently, this is how my team lineup is going to be, and it's probably going to stay like this because we haven't got no other uh, survivor pro. So the time is now 1:46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this is actually a, a good time because this is a good time for me because it's uh I get out of work a little bit early in the afternoon, and I can actually pay attention and and the the final brackets won't happen until like around three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock. So it's not too bad. So this is my team, and uh, let's just begin this now. Yep, there's nothing else I want to change. Waiting for more players. So, all right, guys, this is going to be it for today's episode. It was pretty exciting. I can't believe we actually got another another diva, which is pretty good. So I don't I don't mind that. Unfortunately, it wasn't a pro, but nonetheless, she is one of the best survivor divas out there. The top two to be exact, so, nonetheless, I'm pretty happy with her, uh, actually, you know what, before we end the episode, let's just check the other pictures, and I think the picture I like, that I might put it on is, let's see how the event card Nikki looks like here, there we go, I, I don't mind that one, that'll, that'll probably be it, because I, I like, I like this Nikki Bella the most, but this, let's check the, the rare one, because everybody loves the rare Nikki Bella, let's see how she looks here, We'll probably keep that one. <laughs> so, I hope you guys have a good day, a good evening, depending on what time you guys are watching this video. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's episode, which will be number 22. Not too sure how much of an update we're going to have, but we'll see if we have any type of idea of what the next event is going to be. So, I will catch you guys in tomorrow's episode and see you later.